Uncharted Drake's Fortune is a third-person action-adventure game, and Drake is trying to find the, the lost treasure of the uh, English privateer Sir Francis Drake. Um, he believes that he's um, an illegitimate descendant of Sir Francis Drake, um, but history books say that he had no children. So not only is he trying to find uh, this fortune in, in gold and, and plundered treasure that Sir Francis Drake hid around the world, he's also trying to establish a lineage for his family. It's uh, primarily focused on three pillars of gameplay. We've got uh, gunplay and hand-to-hand -hand combat and uh, traversal, more platforming elements. Our gunplay, we want to make fast and furious. We, we, we have an uh, uh, over-the-shoulder aiming mode. We have a sophisticated covering, cover mechanic. Um, but we also wanted to let you uh, do what we call run and gun, which is you can run across the courtyard and, and just pull the trigger and start firing. We have some puzzle elements in Uncharted, but we, we really wanted to stay focused on um, the fast action, arcade, twitchy elements. Um, the puzzle solving is light, um, but um, a necessary part of any adventure game like this, um, but we aren't uh, overemphasizing it. You have your traveling companion, Elena Fisher, um, who is this documentary reporter for this um, really low budget cable access show that she's got going on, but she just ends up getting caught up in the whirlwind of uh, the whole adventure. Uh, but she's pretty capable herself, she knows how to shoot a gun, it's not her first time. The environments are very diverse in, uh, in Uncharted. We actually, it's a part of the the action adventure, the pulp action adventure genre is sort of this globe-trotting element. So the game starts off off the coast of Panama where you're on a dive boat and you're dredging up the coffin of Sir Francis Drake looking for a clue that's hopefully going to lead you to this treasure you're after. With the 6 axis controller, we're really trying to take advantage of it and do some unique things. Um, right now, we've got a few items implemented already. We uh, have balancing across a log. Uh, as Drake starts to lose his balance, you've got to shift the 6-axis controller to try to regain your balance. Um, we have kind of a, a neat way of uh, throwing our grenades, where once you get into aim mode with your grenade, you cock your arm back. Um, you can actually adjust the trajectory of your grenade by uh, tilting the controller up or down. Um, and then we also um, will be steering vehicles uh, and, and doing a few more things with it as well. Later in the game, you'll be exploring some areas that will require the use of uh, a jet ski, so Drake will get to uh, commandeer uh, one from the pirate enemies and uh, get a drive around on that. What I really like most about uh, the game is that you can fluidly move from one action to the next. You can be shooting a guy, climbing on top of a, a pillar to get a better um, angle on the guys, and then uh, punch another pirate, um, and then leap across a gap and uh, whip out your gun and shoot somebody else. And, and, and these movements all happen fluidly. We don't have a shooting mode, a brawling mode, and a traversing mode. All actions can be, for, can be performed simultaneously and in conjunction with each other, and it's a, a really uh, a good feeling. The game is coming out this holiday season and uh, we're really excited for everyone to go out and uh, play it.